Hi everyone, it's Jojo from Mojo Jojo Plans, and today we are finding a new way to repurpose my Dorables collection. You guys, like, because right now they're just like sitting in my office. I have some of them like up on display, like all the Princess and the Frog ones, but some of these other ones are kind of just chilling. So I thought I'd find um, another way to kind of use these and have these rather than just having them lay around in this box. So I saw online, I saw some people turning these into keychains or like if you're a person that likes bulky earrings, like maybe even like a little earring. Um, I don't think I could ever wear earrings this big because they're kind of, they're a little heavy, but I guess they probably wouldn't be any heavier than like wearing some hoops. Um, some of these are pretty dense. Um, but I thought it would be fun to see if we can turn some into a keychain. So I actually did one already because, you know, I had to see if I can do it. And this is how it came out. So I took a Lewis because I have like so many. Um, but look how stinking cute that is, you guys. Look how cute. And he's like just dangling. And he's a little keychain now. Like turned him to a keychain. Added a little tassel. This can be added onto like a bag or your keychain. Like I don't know. We could even like make like a charm out of it. I don't. These are a little bit too bulky to have like as a charm bracelet. But it could be fun. So just different things. So I thought I'd show you guys how I did this and I will link all the supplies that I used. I got everything from Amazon um, down in the description below, but I'll show you guys and we'll make a couple. Um, but I just thought like how fun and then I can like gift these out or um, make them for the kiddo or for our bags. I can make some of the hubby's favorite characters. Um, but I just thought that was like so cool right? Like, I just think this is so cool. Okay, so I'm going to show you all the things that I got to make this because it was actually pretty dang easy. Okay, so obviously, first thing you need is some Dorables, which I am currently not in short supply of these guys. Um, yeah, definitely not in short supply. And then, of course, I have the kiddos stack of them somewhere as well. Um, but yeah, we have quite a bit. So maybe I'll pull out a Hank I'm going to just pull out a few that I know for sure that I have duplicates of. Because I don't really remember. I think I have a Mowgli. Let's do Princess Aurora. Because the kiddo's been like playing in here. So I'm like low-key worried that I'm missing some. Because I don't see as many duplicates as I used to have. So I'm kind of like, eh. Okay, well I have a dash. So we can do a dash. Um... Pinocchio. I'm trying to just look and see. I know I have a fear. Yeah, let's take him because he's kind of like in a different shape and he's smaller than some of the other ones. So, okay, well, let's start with those and then I might just go crazy. But I was just trying to think of other ways that I could play around with these. Um, so, yeah, okay, so first thing you need is some little dorables. Um, I wanted to add like a little decorative element, so I got these tassels for um for keychains just from amazon i literally just searched like keychain tassels and it has a bunch of different colors i think it was like less than 10 bucks for a bag of i don't remember how many 100 maybe 50 something like that so uh, again and i'll link everything that i grabbed um down in amazon because i got everything from amazon um and then i got this bag of keychains and these keychains already have oh, these keychains here, they're like kind of not the greatest, but they'll work. But they do already have this guy on it, which is what we need to screw into the Dorable. So it did have this, and I don't know any of the terms. I don't know any of the names, so sorry. I heard like eyelet from somewhere. Um, I don't know, but it's like a little mini screw. So I got these ones, but then I wanted to get a hand drill. So I got this guy and it came with some like different little drill bits. Now you could totally get like a hand, like I saw that there's like hand dremels and stuff. Um, but it was actually pretty easy just with this and this was like less than 10 bucks. Um, but it came with that and then I think it also came with some other things. So I got some like jewelry pliers and then I got this set that came with a bunch of stuff. And again, I can't remember what came together. 
I probably should have kept these in a pile, but I did end up getting some more of these in that set. Um, I got some like nicer keychains, even like some gold keychains. Um, and then it came with gold of those screw thingies. And then some of the, what are these called? It's escaping my brain. They're like the class things. Um, but it came with a bunch of stuff. So I'll link everything that I used down in the description below. I also got glue. I also got just like some jewelry glue. But I don't know if I necessarily need it. I mean, this is pretty in there. Now, if you're putting it on like a keychain and you're, you know, and you want it to be sturdy, then definitely probably adding like a little bead of glue before you screw this in um, would be good. But he's pretty... He's pretty in there. And the nice thing is, is I used, so I used this little one. I have no clue what size. I want to say this is the one, one millimeter, this one right here, because I used the second one over. Um, and this one was just a little bit smaller than the screw. So that's the one that I used. So it's pretty teeny tiny. Um, so it's pretty snug in there. I think like if I really pulled, it would come out, but it's pretty snug in there. Um, and then, yeah, and then we have the tassel. Okay, so that's all the tools. Again, I'll link everything down in the description below. <gasps> There's a glitter one. Hold on. Hold up. There's some ones that have glitter on them. <sighs> okay, well, we got to use that one for somebody. Maybe Mowgli. Um, there's a pink glitter one, so maybe we can use that one for Aurora. Um, who else do we have? We have Hank. We do have an orange and then we do have purple which we can use here we have a couple different shades of purple which i'm pretty excited about they have like three different shades of purple so i'm like yes we have it okay so first thing i did is i put my little drill bit thing into my little hand drill it's pretty easy you just stick it in and then screw it shut it's kind of like my exacto knife um it's like exactly built just like my exacto knife so did that make sure it's nice and tight in there pretty simple then I took my thing so let's do I'm kind of scared to do fear because he's so small let's do a practice one let's do Mowgli first so I'm just picking a spot on his head I mean I guess you could do it from like somewhere else but I just feel like from the top of their head is the easiest um, so I'm just going to go as center as I can. I mean, I'm sure there's a better way to figure it out, but I'm just going to hold really tight and apply pressure and just kind of wiggle my little hand drill back and forth. And then I'm going to start twisting and I'm just going to go, I'm just pushing using some pressure. I'm going to try to get pretty good, decent way in there. Oh, I got pretty decently in and when you pull out sometimes there's the little piece that was in there will come out with it um, so that was actually really pretty easy but I think I actually have this pretty deep I'm gonna go one more time and just see if I can go down just a little bit more Ooh, we went we went okay so there we go so I have my little hole I'm just gonna use this to kind of get some of the excess plastic that's in there out it's a little hole then I'm going to take one of my keychains and I'm taking this one again I have this whole like fancier kit with like the nicer ones um but these ones work and again these were super cheap so I'm going to just take this little teeny tiny screw and get a good enough grip if you don't have nails this will probably be 10 times easier <laughs> but then you literally just start twisting twisting your character onto the screw so stinking easy and again maybe adding like a little bead of clear super glue so I got B7000 I don't really know why I got that one I meant to get E6000 um, somehow I ended up with B7000 but there we go so now he's on his little keychain and again he's pretty sturdy on there like I'm applying some pressure with pulling and it's holding pretty well pretty easy okay and now I'm gonna add a little tassel so I think I think I'm gonna add this glittery one cuz it just adds a little pizzazz and it's cute so something I discovered that I liked better with this one was doing two 
little links um, to put it on so it dangled a little more. And then I put it up a little higher. So I'm actually going to use some of these, the nicer ones. I use these ones, which these ones are pretty chunky. I think I'm only going to use one of these. So I'm just going to grab one of these guys out, which I'm so glad I got the pliers. I wasn't going to, but unless you have like super strong fingers, <laughs> pinching this stuff together did not sound like a fun time. Okay. I didn't even open this yet. Hold on. Give it like a little tiny baby cut. I'm going to pull this one out because I didn't use this one for the last one, but we're going to use this one because it looks a little bit nicer. I do have some tweezers, so I'm just going to kind of hold on to one side and tweezers kind of help too. Sorry, I wasn't in frame. Tweezers kind of help too. So I kind of just pulled that one apart. Um, but I'm going to use this one to attach because it's a little bit stronger, but I'm going to use this one to attach to my tassel. So I'm just going to take this, stick it right in there, and then you just twist it back. So really, tweezers work great for these ones because they're not super, super thick. Sorry. So I just twisted it back. I kind of just use my tweezers. So you don't need these. They're nice, but tweezers kind of work just fine. Now this one's a little thicker, so I might have some trouble using my tweezers for this one. So I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to thread it. Um, I'm doing about like the third one up, third like chain link up, just so I have some hangage going. I lost it. Hold on. I'm like trying to juggle, but my nails are also like in the way, making it complicated. So again, if you don't have nails, this probably would be a heck of a lot easier. So I'm just going to take my pliers and pull it back. I'm like terrified I'm going to break a nail, so I'm going to use my tweezers to hold the other side. <laughs> There we go. And then I'm just going to pinch it together. There we go. And then voila. Voila. Keychain. Can stick it on a bag. Can stick it somewhere. But how fun is that? And what a great way. I don't know. I just think that's really fun. Let me know down below what your favorite character is. And I'll pick one character, especially if I have the character, and I will send you one of these keychains. Let's do that. We'll do like a little mini giveaway in this video. Why not? Um, I don't really know the deadline. I'll put the deadline in, <laughs> in the description. It just depends on when this video goes up. I don't have a deadline, but maybe I'll pick a few people and I'll send you a little cute keychain. Because how fun is that? I just think this is a great way to repurpose it. And again... You can do these same exact steps, maybe not use the keychain and maybe just use the ones like these and then get the little hooks um, that you can attach to things to make earrings. And you could literally make these into little earrings if you wanted to. I think that would be so fun. I'm not brave enough, like I only wear studs. I very rarely wear anything else in my ears. Um, so I'd be super afraid uh, to wear anything else in my ears. Maybe fear, because he's little. Okay, I'm going to do one more with you guys. So, again, taking my little tool. I'm being careful, because he's thinner than all the other ones. So I really want to make sure my tool goes straight down and doesn't go, like, at a weird angle. Okay, I think that's good. I'm going to take out some of the, the stuff that's in the way. Some of the plastic. Okay. And we're going to take a keychain. This one's kind of going to be hard because the Lewis was kind of hard because his eyes were in the way. But once you get it going, it's not as bad. I just have to like try to avoid his eyes and ears. And maybe if I use this, maybe that's smarter. Oh, that's smarter. Ha ha ha. 
work smarter, not harder, right? Isn't that how that goes? Okay, we got it. We got it. We did it. Ooh, oop. It went a little too far, or I need to go either a little farther or not that far. There we go. We did it. So easy. And then I'm going to put, I don't know what purple one I want for him. I kind of like this one just because it goes with his eyes more. I don't want to do the light colored one. So I think I'm going to go with this one. So let's do one more. I know I pulled out like a bunch, but I intended this to be just like a quick how-to video because I'm pretty proud of myself that I figured it out. I've been seeing some other people do it and I was like, oh my gosh, that looks like so much fun. So I'm just glad I found another purpose for these things. Like now I can give them as gifts and not just give people like a random little statue of a character you know like now it has much more of a purpose <laughs> okay so adding all my pieces together going to just take my chain and I'm gonna pull these together and pinch it Boom. Keychain made. That was like in less than three minutes. So quick, so easy. There you go, you guys. Hopefully this gives you some ideas if you were on the fence about getting some doorables or if you need like a little mini side hustle. How fun would that be to just like sell some of these? Who knows? Maybe I'll turn some of them and throw them on my shop on whatever ones that I make. I don't know. But for now, let's do a little mini giveaway. Let me know what your favorite Disney character is and I'll pick like maybe two or three people so long as I have that character, I will make some little keychains because this is actually kind of fun and I've just been feeling super crafty lately and maybe these can somehow be planner charms. I don't know. On discs it would be hard, but this could be like a cute planner charm too for like a three ringed planner or something like that. But there you go, you guys. That's how to turn dorables into a keychain and or you could also do earrings if earrings are your style or maybe even make like a little necklace just like do all the same steps, but like get like a necklace chain and then have it be on a little necklace. You know, the possibilities, there's so many possibilities out there, but hopefully this gives you some ideas on what to do with your doorables if I've talked you into buying them for some reason. Um, but anyway, I'll link everything that I grabbed off of Amazon down in the description below. I so hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye.